Yeah, yeah we were both in the car. car. Well, yeah. I just thought it was so funny because like he gave me no information about anything. So it was like he's like, "Yo, we're here to pick you up." I'm like, bro, I'm already, we in, like I'm already in the Uber. Bro. We're like, where's Vaughn? <laughs> we got chest, side delts, and biceps with Vaughn IFBB Pro. What do you normally do for chest? I usually warm up like a fly and then either jump into like a Smith press or like a dumbbell press, but I'm always inclined. I don't yeah. do any flat press or decline or anything. Oh, really? It's just so much easier and like, I don't get like messed up or anything. I just see if you like, cause I have the flat press on the Antlantis. It's a machine, I'm like, I'm chill with that. Yeah, it's a machine. I like doing a lot of machines just because I'm able to dial in my form. Just because it's consistent. So good yeah. too. Yeah. And especially with training to failure, sometimes you risk the form breakdown. It's a machine, so it's going point A to point B. Do you do uh, like multiple press movements throughout the, the chest day? You stick I'll to do, like do incline Smith press. And then we'll do that flat Atlantis press, and then we'll do a fly delts and biceps after. I'll mix stuff around. So instead of an incline Smith machine, I might do an incline dumbbell if I want to get good at that. Like on incline bench, I always get a nasty pump, and it feels amazing. I get a great stimulus. But then if I try to do flat dumbbells, I don't really get the same pump feeling good in my chest like your shoulders take over a little bit it might or? be it might be my positioning but i just have other movements that i go to rather than do something that doesn't feel comfortable already yeah. the best movements are the ones that you stick to and that feel fucking awesome i got to a point where i was running like smith press and then dumbbells every other workout so it's like i'm hitting both of those like twice a week at, yeah at, at a point just swapping back and forth bro like like i love both of them like, honestly, one of the best things for your chest. When you find those movements that you get a great pump, great stimulus, and you can progress in, that's why I say, like, I've always kept the incline Smith machine. I will do incline dumbbell. I feel that way more than the flat. Yeah. So there's, I just have a handful of movements that I love. Do any, like, crazy, like, FST7 stuff or anything like that? Um, craziest stuff I'll do is I'll throw in rest pause sets. Not so much drop sets. I'd rather do a rest pause just so I can work with the same load and keep that same intensity. I feel like if you drop off the load it doesn't have the same intensity as if you, you just let your lactic acid chill out and kind of catch your breath and then bust out a couple more other than that it's just like full range of motion getting that full deep stretch and feeling it and just having no momentum like all muscle moving the way because i was in the powerlifting but the technique is like once that shit's on your chest how fucking fast can i get that shit off my chest i'm not thinking about my titties squeezing i'm thinking about that now on incline yeah, I was trying to squeeze my titties together, but on bench, bitch, I was like, <laughs> you see people, leg drive, fucking. You ever do some stupid stuff where you're like trying to hit like a one rep PR now? Or... No, no, fuck no. The only one rep I'll do is I'll do like one or two reps with my working weight before I'll go to warm myself up, prime the CNS, but dude, it's just too risky. It's not aligned with my goals anymore. If people like that, especially the powerlifting shit, that's what you gotta do, but. I think just about every single time that I try to PR on like a flat bench or incline or something like that, destroy my shoulder. Just it's something. always my right shoulder too. Do you ever power lift? No, I mean like, I feel like everybody has that like little power building phase when they first get into the gym. Either six month or a year where you're just trying to lift as heavy as you can. So I, I've been through it, bro. Everybody has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thought is you want to be big and strong at the same time. That is pretty hard as a natural, but it's doable. Doing it that route where I was training six days a week and fucking up my joints and body and not giving it enough rest. Once I realized that, I've been making way more progress and those PRs, I may not be one rep maxing or anything, but I'm progressing in most of the fucking movements I'm doing on a weekly basis just because I'm giving my body enough rest. We were talking about systemic fatigue and like how much of a role that plays and how you can hit like a fucking hard leg Day, the day prior and the next day if you try to train back you're like no way I can go as hard as I went yesterday when in reality every time you're in the gym you should go as hard as you can so your body has to adapt twice as much I mean the harder you work the more your body has to adapt if you can't do that then you're kind of like just going through the motions and like, yeah it was a shocker to cut my training in half but I've been making more gains there's been so many people like big name bodybuilders that'll say they'll like take like a week off from training or like little break like you're not a little break but two days off and then training for a day yeah or going a whole week like i said and like just getting back into the gym after that time off like you feel like a new person yeah the like, deloads yeah Bro. fucking tell me you Bro. take a deload Bro. tell me you don't pr i know it. i remember being like bro this is magic bro i took a week off and i'm stronger what the fuck and it's like yeah buddy you're fully recovered dog that's why you're so strong you adapted for the one rep thing i'll just do one rep with my working weight so i'm used to it it's more like a mental thing just because when you unrack that working weight you're like oh oh fuck you 
you get warmed up like halfway into your set. So you might as well like crank out a good rep or two. Get used to it before you do it. natural appetite just dooms me sends me in the gutter your body don't fucking care if you don't want to eat nah, you gotta grow it's the only way to do it wait are you bulking just, then or nah, you cut maintaining right now i'm in a health phase so uh, we're kicking up the bulk in like two weeks yeah, yeah. Like that. you got the card you gotta show up with the card and smoke yeah. everyone yeah bro's got insane genetics that'll be sick yeah. one day you don't build an olympia physique yeah. overnight yeah. chris bumstead i remember even yeah. seeing his videos oh. pop up on like Louis Marco's old videos, like old bodybuilding stuff. Yeah. When he was up and coming, they're like, bro, look at, the, look at this cat. He has really good genetics. They didn't fucking even think that he'd be the five-time Olympia. Nah, nah. Just like Vaughn over here. Hey, hopefully, that's the goal one day. I just want to step on Olympia stage and like, it would be dope to win, but just to get up there would be, dude, that would be different. So I mean, as you're like, I still have more gas for a second set, but we can just move on and beast and feast on another movement. Exactly. <laughs> if you truly give it your all in one set, that second set, like, if you're giving your all the first time, you can't, yeah, you, you can't match that. You might as well one. move on to another movement. Yeah. True failure though, not mental failure, like muscle failure. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm chasing. You can, you can restrict that, do a couple sets if you'd like. I just know zero and a hundred. Yeah. I'm not that in tune with my brain to know my 80%. I just know t I can move until I can't. Exactly. If I don't progress, then something wrong. I mean, they're not eating, sleeping, or resting. Or well, you're not actually giving that 100%. Yeah. So, or I'm half-assing. Yeah. And I would usually half-ass it if I didn't get enough rest. So it would all make sense. Atlantis is boss at making machines. Like I said, I don't normally feel a lot of flat pressing, but this puts you in a really good arm position to dial in. You ever use uh, like prime machines? Those are so cool because you can like manipulate where you feel the weight. Either it's like the bottom of the rep or the top of the rep. It's a different dynamic. Yeah, they have that with the preacher, I think. The preacher? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like the plate loader. Those are sick though, I love those. That's the thing is I'm training intense, but I'm not training pointless. It has a purpose. So you can put all that fucking energy and hype that you want to have in the gym and put it into actually progressing. You're gonna make a shit ton more progress that way than just slamming around a ton of weights and not knowing if you're progressing or not. You've been like fucking around, just coming in here and like not actually training, just like hanging out. When you take two hours to like like an actual training session, like yeah. you're just losing all that time. When yeah. you do that three, four days a week, that shit adds up like in the time of the year, you know? Like, yeah. I tell them in and out in like an hour, no filming. I think they're like solo videos where you set up your camera, you train hard. Fun, so. I just set up the camera so I don't have to worry about it and then yeah. do the sets. Shut your bitch ass up, start working out. <laughs>
Damn. That was nice. This and like cable side lateral raises, just trial and error have been like the best movements. I can do dumbbells, but it's like who knows how constant that load is throughout because you're swinging it this way and gravity is this way, you feel me? This is throughout, and like you said, cables too. You ever use uh, like cable cuffs? I'll do that with the cables sometimes. They're like, what, like 20 bucks on Amazon too. That's the pump. And I just count the full reps, so I got 10. I got up one, but I did a bunch of fun stuff too for intensity. You gotta make it fun. You get like a different yeah. dimension with the rest pause. You're like, wow, I hit failure and I'm hitting it again two more times. Yeah, because you haven't done the two before, have you? You usually yeah. just doing one. It's like busting already after you busted. And then again. Two more times. <laughs> Four back to back. Like we, now we got biceps. Finishing off with some cable curls. I like this bar, this groove. It's it's like perfect. I like to just get my elbow in different positions for biceps. I'll even sometimes do like an overhead if there's a machine. Like you know the one where you. When we can't even get his shit off. Mac and cheese is so good. It's so good. I haven't had the rice. It's pretty good. The beef is good though. Yeah. I haven't had the chicken either.
We're at Top Golf. They got good ass food too. I'm gonna. Indulge. Everything's in balance, bro. I eat that boring ass food. Y'all see in my Snapchat. Every now and then, I'll eat with the homies. You feel me? And we're gonna hit some dingers. I need to work on my golf swing, so I'm open to criticism in the comments. <laughs> bon, do you golf a lot? So I just had like a recent golf spree where I bought clubs and like I was going for like once a week type deal. I went like ten times probably, but I was actually probably like golfing. Yeah. Yeah, I've never like gloves on fucking polo on. I've never done that. Oh, you get kicked right. off if you don't have the right attire though. I had yeah. that happen yeah. to me. Yeah. You can't pull up in like a like an Iron Maiden t-shirt. Yeah, I thought it was chill. <laughs> it's like that. Nah, it's like, not chill like, though. Get off. Where they make you buy one on the spot yeah. you're forced to. Yeah, and they mark the up the prices day. so it's like a hundred dollars for a shirt and it's like yeah. I wonder if they're stingy about like brands. They're like, you have hill figure on? <laughs> <laughs> we got merch at the front, buddy. I got to, though. It's just cold as fuck here. Yeah. You'd have to bundle up right now. I'm trying to, like, Tiger Woods shit in, like, 90 degrees. Do they got golf courses in Arizona? Yeah, dude. Arizona's known for golfing. Oh, shit. They're, like, the most... Could you golf uh, year-round there? You can't golf right now here. Still yeah, I'm going to have to... I have to... Max Taylor golf. So start a golf crazy. channel. <laughs> It's perfect for yeah, you. It's a nice rest day, in, yeah. You walk in and you get it's that rest day strokes. activity. We might just get nasty at golf. We just throw in golf highlights every vlog. Like, uh, so, update on last week. I hit a <laughs> nine hole, zero birdie, fucking, I don't know the language. language Dude, did you see the turkey I hit yesterday? It was a double turkey, fucking grand birdie, one swing. <laughs> the big dog. Shut up, Jack. <laughs> we better slam this bad boy. Damn! That's pretty good. That was pretty decent. No, you showed me the, the finger shits. The pinky and the... Yeah. I was holding like this, so Drew was like, nah, you gotta... Or I'm like 90% sure. Don't quote me on that, but it's the pinky and the blanket. Maybe that's like a secret. The pinky and the blanket. That's in like the golfing bible. I just want to see how far I can hit it. The hard part is you just want to put everything I know, it. dude. But you gotta... Yeah, be gentle. Fucking Tiger Woods. Oh! All right, let's see if all this talk comes into play. I never said I was good. I just said I was good. Which year do you want? Woo! That was pretty bad. Woo! We'll get better next time. First round. That was practice run. This is me and Vaughn's competition of, of winner. Who's gonna be the winner? Bro broke out the camera so I get pure pressure. Yeah. yeah. Show, yeah. show up now. I gotta show, show that got, show him that pro swing. We got ten dollars on the line. Okay, let's see, we got Yeah. Okay. Damn. You gotta film me beating you. I mean, you already won, though. I know. This is a double pain. Like, why is every new PC coming? New PC is coming. Oh, yeah. Finally getting a new PC. I've been running this bad boy since day one, baby. First stream, first horror game, first scream. I mean, once I started earning money from the shit, I was like, I'm gonna just upgrade the shit that earned me the money in the first place. <laughs> to save it for a new PC. It's a digital storm one. I got this one off digital storm after it saved up for like fucking months. The first, this was like my first big purchase was my first PC before I even bought my first car or anything. I bought my first PC. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well these are actually the monitors I'm going to use. <laughs> Fire. Who the bitches? I'm going to be reading <laughs> chat in 4K, bro. This is like night vision. We just have to fucking... <laughs> we have a phone light. 
All right, I forgot to give a weight update. My weight is 196.8 as of this morning. It climbed a little bit since last week, 0.6 on average more. It's still going up, it's going good. I'm eating 3,400 calories. Um, once my weight stops moving after like a week and a half or so, two weeks, like I say, then I'll move it up to 3,600 or so. Whatever keeps the boat moving, my last bulk, cause I did it pretty linear last bulk too, I got to like about 5K calories yeah, a day. Yeah, I remember about 4,800 or something like that. Yeah, but that was pretty deep in my bulk, you feel me? Like it takes a while to actually get to that point. But you wanna take it as slow as possible cause then you don't wanna set yourself up for failure by eating too much and then your body gets used to that amount of calories and you have to shovel down a shit ton of food all the time. When you go gradually and you give yourself enough room, you're gonna have a way longer and way more successful bulk rather than bulking and cutting and bulking and cutting. And but yeah, I feel good. Like this was the last week on my program. So I'm gonna go to the drawing board. I keep a gym journal. So I monitor how my recovery is, how I'm progressing every week with weight and reps and sets, etc. If I am progressing, I know I am. If I'm not, I know what to fix, you feel me? So I'm gonna see what I come up with. I'm just trying to gradually get to a point where I have my ideal best program for myself, just based on recovery, how I'm progressing. You feel me? Because it's not going to be the same as everyone else's. There's not one ideal program that works for everyone. Some people need one rest day in between sessions. Some people can train back to back. Some people need three rest days in between each session. Some people do 20 sets a week. Some people do 10 sets a week. It's also like the, it's like, it's like the evolve or die thing. Like if you aren't evolving, trying new things and you're probably going to be stagnant or you're going to be yeah. falling behind. If something is not working, nothing is going to change unless you fix it. The same thing forever ain't going to work. Yeah, you gotta switch things up. You gotta switch up the stimulus, change it up. You just gotta train hard. That's the only thing you have to worry about outside of that. And sticking what works best for you because what worked best for me or Drew may not work best for you. But that's gonna be pretty much it. Had some fun with Vaughn. We're gonna be in Arizona next week. We're probably gonna move to Arizona. We'll see what happens. We're gonna go check out the places and kind of look around, see what we like, see out the area, see the gyms, most importantly. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for all the support as always. I motherfucking love y'all. Until next time, peace out, baby.